Oh, g'day, didn't see you there. Well, welcome along to this next video on the practice task, which you're gonna get to, into straight away in the workshop uh, this week. Um, the reason behind this practice task uh, is, the, or the reasoning behind this practice task is that I want you to get yourself uh, re uh, familiar with the processes of, of what we've done last year and some new processes that we'll introduce this year. Um, so that when we get into our skills task, you're back and, and feel comfortable in the workshop environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a series of joints uh, on some just some particle board like so. All right, so we're going to have, and I've written them up there, we're going to have a rebate joint, housing joint, a stopped housing joint, a VB36 knockdown fitting joint, and a biscuit joint. All right. And on the other piece that's going to attach to, well, that will be able to fit in as all of your timber and all of your joints. Um, but it also is going to work as the VB36 fitting will also fit into that. And the biscuit joint will fit in along the top there as well if I just push that in with the desk there so that you're able to get that uh, sorted as well. So what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up... Uh, what the uh, joints are going to look like. So, if this is our board here, uh, and I'll also do the small board there, um, we're going to have obviously a rebate joint there, a housing joint, a stopped housing joint. We're going to have two holes drilled out for the VB36s, and we're going to cut in there two slots for our uh, biscuit joints. So the overall measurement of that is 400. Okay, between each joint is 100. So those two there, there's a 100 mil gap. Now I'm not specifying what this gap is. I'll tell you what the, the uh, board we're going to use is. I'll just make that a little bit bigger. Um, but you should be able to work out what the uh, gaps are for the jointing. Um, and uh, the rest is sorted out there. So the depth, or the sorry, the distance it goes across the width is one, what did I say, 135, I think? Yep, 135. Okay. Um, so those spacings are there. The distance from the end to the holes that we'll drill, 60. The biscuit joints, will I'll show you how to do that in class because that's something new. We'll have to draw a centre line through there and through there. Now from the edge across, that's 40, okay, and then it's another 80. What I want you to do is get used to measuring off of the one edge, which will be this one in this case, um, so that if you've got some different size timber that you're joining together, you don't get yourself confused. If we went 40 off each side, and say you were joining it to a piece that was wider than this, um, then it wouldn't line up. So get used to marking off uh, of an edge that's the same across the board. Okay, so what I want you to do now is I want you to pause and I want you to draw this up to scale on a bit of paper. So I want the scale to be one is to two, just so it fits on your page. Okay, and remember that's half. That's half the life size. Now I want you to draw it up, so it's 400 mils in length, that would be 200 mil on your page. However, you still write in your dimensions uh, as the real size. Okay, so even though you will do this at half the size on your page, you still write in 400. You still write in 100 and 100 as your gaps because um, you know that's the, the actual size that you're going to be using. Um, so you scale it to half, but you write your proper size dimensions down. Um, the only other thing I'll say is that we're using particle board, which is 17 millimeters in thickness. All right, so that's all you'd need. So you've got a, um, this piece here will be uh, 400 by 160. That's what I forgot. The width here is 160 um, by 17. All right, so you'll be able to work that out. So pause the video now, draw that. Also draw this box and we'll uh, come back to that in a little bit. So that's 150 in length. So that's 150 
by 160 by 17 mil particle board as well. So draw those both up to scale and, and include the dimensions like I've done here in the, the picture. Okay, welcome back. Just a couple of notes that I wanted to make, uh, draw your attention to, is remember when we're routing this, we want to route left to right on the housing joints, but on the rebate joints, we want to route right to left. Okay, so just make note of that and remember that um, left to right is the normal process when we are routing for housings, right to left on the rebate, so the opposite way. Last thing I wanted to show you in terms of drawing this up, and afterwards I want you to pause and draw this up as well, is to um, draw in for our VB36s. So we've drawn it where we're going to, that will be a, sorry, a 5mm hole, that will be depth of 12mm. Uh, Over here, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to rule the lines in again, that's at our 40 and with the distance there of 80 as well. So as we talked before, so that lines up with it over here. We're gonna to need to drill two holes on each of these. So there'll be one here, all right, and one back here. Okay, I'm just doing it roughly, but the gap between here and here is 32 mil, okay? So between the centers of those two holes are 32 mils, and between here and here, which is the edge of the particle board and the centre of the first hole is 9.5. Now we do have a tolerance, all right, which is uh, 0.5, plus 0.5. So that one could be 9.5 or 10 at the worst. It can't be 9, can't be 10.5. It's meant to be 9.5, but if it's 10, we could get away with it. Then what we're going to do is the same goes to here, so it's marked out exactly the same. The front hole is going to be a diameter of 20 mil, and the rear hole is going to be a diameter of 10 mil. Okay, so the bigger hole is at the front, and that's to fit in this fitting. Okay, so the bigger hole holds this, and the smaller hole holds that part. All right, so that it will look like this on your board, as you can see. All right, the depth here of this one is, uh, I think that was 11 or 12, what did I want you to do it as? Uh, 11, yeah. And this one has a depth of 13 millimetres. Okay. So what I want you to do now is I want you to stop the video again and I want you to draw out this, get the, in the hang of uh, making sure this is all ruled out ne neatly and accurately. All right, so pause the video. Okay, just finishing up a few things that I want you to do. On day map, um, there is these questions here, okay, which is some recap questions on the safety to do with the router and the drill. I need you to look at those, I need you to answer those, print them out, bring them along. I also want you to bring along to class your drawings that you should have completed now, the scaled drawings, uh, one as to two, of the practice task. Um, this, of course. Uh, and I want you to bring any other safety documents that you might still have from previous years because I recognise prior learning, okay, RPL. So I will be able to see that and I need you to have that documented. What you also need to do is bring a folder and a pencil to the class and every class of course. But your folder we want to organise up so we've got um, all the safety stuff there in the folder so it's all documented and I can easily refer to that and you can easily refer to that in the in the um, future, okay? So make sure you bring those three things to class. So the scale drawing, the answers to the safety recap questions, and also any other safety documents that you may have, all right? And um, don't forget your folder and pencil. A couple of quick points at the end. When we're doing these jointing techniques like the VB36 knockdown fittings, drilling uh, accuracy and marking accuracy is so important so when we do this for real on our timber in the lesson time it's really important that you accurately mark out and I'll be assessing you on your accuracy so 
things like the gaps here need to be 100 millimeters these need to be perfect otherwise they won't work okay so when we drill these what I suggest you do is you'll actually center punch those holes so that they're nice and accurate center punch these we'll go through the biscuiting in lesson because um, we haven't looked at that or only a few of you have looked at that last year so really important that accuracy is is uh, um, the most important thing when you're marking out so uh, don't forget to bring those three things look forward to getting into the workshop with you next lesson we'll see you then